uh, Pew Global Attitudes Project is the largest ever series of multinational surveys focusing on worldwide issues. Um, it began in Ju June 2001. We received a grant from the Pew Charitable Trust where most of the funding that for, for what we do both domestically and internationally comes from, and it was to study globalization and democratization. The poll I'm going to discuss today, our new poll, is based on 24,000 in-depth interviews uh, in 22 countries. Our headline this year was that Obama remains highly popular in most parts of the world, even though his job approval rating in the United States uh, is not so great. In many respects, he's more popular overseas than he is here. And this benefits the image of the United States worldwide. Uh, opinions were also highly positive uh, uh, toward the U.S. and other nations around the world. We were uh, impressed to see or surprised to see uh, the extent to which opinions of the U.S. improved in Russia and China, very significant jumps between 2009 and 2010, and also in Japan. Uh, the disappointing news is that Muslim publics continue to hold a very unfavorable view, in fact, an overwhelmingly negative view in many places uh, of the United States. In Egypt or in um, Turkey and Pakistan, just 17 percent of the people we polled had a favorable view of the United States. In Egypt, uh, we saw the U.S.'s favorability rating dropping from 27 percent in 2009 uh, to just 17 percent this year, which get, makes it among the lowest, it, it makes it the lowest rating that we've obtained in Egypt since we've started doing polling there in 2006. Uh, closer to home, uh, one of the most disappointing and the most uh, unfavorable findings was uh, we found the radio image of the United States tumbling in response in Mexico in response to the Arizona, new Arizona immigration law. Before the bill was signed, 62 percent of Mex Mexicans gave the U.S. a favorable rating. We were in the field and we decided, well, something very significant has happened, so we then did a follow-up survey, an identical follow-up survey, and we saw that 62 percent tumbling to 44 percent. We also saw Barack Obama's image uh, uh, affected by this in Mexico, a much more negative read on him after the bill, even though obviously Barack Obama was not a proponent of the bill, in fact, is a critic of the law. But uh, nonetheless, he was tarred by that brush in Mexico. Do you have anything that speaks to um, uh, aspirations to live in the United States or to change their own countries to the U.S. model? There's been a lot of talk about uh, uh, other state capitalist models and so on and so forth uh, on the rise. Do you have anything on that? What we saw over the past decade is fewer people uh, saying that they would advise young people who wanted to leave their own countries to come to the United States. Uh, many mentions of Australia and New Zealand and all kinds of Canada and all kinds of places, but with the U.S. image being fairly low um, you know, over that era, that those percentages were uh, uh, a good deal lower than, uh, than, than we expected. We did find, however, when we talked to people in the Middle East who had uh, friends and relatives living in the United States, uh, that they had a very high regard uh, for the experience of these, of these emigres. Mm -hmm.